Oh, oh hey there. Come on in. This house is uh, 203 Elmwood. We like this house because it is close to the college. College is right across the street, University of Colorado and Colorado Springs, which is the most growingest college in the UC system. Boulder's kind of capped at growth and UCCS is booming. Um, I like the ability to, the exit plan was the idea of this becoming a college rental. So I could still get the cash flow of renting by the bedrooms to a college group, but I didn't have to manage a bunch of people that didn't know each other, which is, which, which becomes a lot and is I think a little more difficult to scale. So that was one big reason for this house. Um, another big reason is it had four bedrooms. It was listed as three. It actually has four. And then there was this funky garage in the back that was perfect for a, for a fifth bedroom or a fifth unit, which is really what I wanted. I wanted at least five to maximize the cash flow. It's a tandem garage. So they have this, this garage here that's used for storage now. And then there was a garage behind that. So you could drive through one garage and then there was a garage door at the back and you could actually go through and into another garage is weird. But we turned that back garage instead of into a bedroom, we turned that back garage into a unit with a uh, studio kitchenette. So it's got, there's a guest in there right now and she's gonna be here for a little while. So it's messy, she doesn't want us to go in there. We'll come back another time maybe, but kitchenette, everything but a dishwasher and an oven. Um, it's got a big toaster oven that you can plug in. It's got a stove top that nets 16 to 1700 a month on average. Not as good in the winter, three grand in the summer, 200 square feet, one car garage, pretty sick, full bath. So numbers, bought it for 260 in 2019 uh, at a four and a half percent interest rate. My PITI was 16, 50 or 1550 actually 1550 each bedroom rent rented for 600 to start we're now up to 650 so about 2500 for this house and then again this garage in the back goes for on average 1700 a month i borrowed 20k at 10 percent interest for 10 years so i've got a 264 dollar payment for that um so all that to say the cash flow is 1500 going in So garage in the back, I think is original. And then this garage they put in front and then they, and then they just kind of like made a covered walkway, which is perfect because we love the bike. This was my original house hack, my first one. I put up this bike racks and the guys that have continued to live here uh, continue to enjoy biking. So worked out well. If you want to see a messy garage with a lot of, whoa, this is way more organized than I last saw it. Dick tenants got together and organized it. I forgot about that. That's a nice surprise. So you can see the where the old front of the house was, that blue siding. And then you can see the back of this drywall. That is the closet sort of punch out. Cool walkway, bike rack, shoe rack. This is the door to the unit. So one thought is, and what's cool about this house, I didn't mention is before Colorado Springs changed the rules, I got an Airbnb permit for this property. It was a grandfathered single family zoning Airbnb permit. So in the future, I could furnish this and Airbnb the whole thing and then have like this little mother-in-law suite along with all the bedrooms and kitchen you'll see here. Um, I might even, you know, be able to do it as two separate units or three listings, right? That one, this one, and then combined. Um, but anyways, that unit's in there, really cool. I'll send you some pictures to throw in your video, washer dryer, pretty basic. Big open feel, family room. I got this kitchen tile. Kitchen tile. Look at these cabinets. Fresh. Oh, right. So here's the hallway. It's a super efficient house. This house is what? 1200 square feet before I added 200 um, one car garage conversion. And it fits four beds and one and a half bath. It's just like a really great use of space. One tenant is living here. We've got the half bath and the full shower. 
You don't have to wait for someone to finish the shower if you really got to go. The half bath, I think, adds a lot, especially when you got four people living here. These two rooms are for rent if you're interested. I think we've got uh, one guy signed on for December 1st and hopefully another one shortly here. So. Two big rooms, too. Yeah. yeah, 10 by 12 or 10 by 10 ish. But if you look at this, this is a new scratch that we just filled and it is. Like I can, I can't even get my fingernail to the bottom of it. So I'm not stoked on that. I don't know the process of it. I don't know if it's too deep to sand and restain, but it's great for a rental. And at some point we'll restain it all and sand it. Be good to go. See the deck? Composite deck with the view of the mountains in the winter when the leaves have fallen, you can see the mountains poking through. I love zero escaped yards. Like, I don't want to pay someone to cut the grass. I definitely don't want to cut the grass. That's nice occasional weeding that I have to do or ask my tenants to do, but not a big deal. So to convert this single car garage, right, we had the, it was basically a storage unit in the back. It was the old one car garage. They built a one car garage in front of it. Got a bunch of bids from handymen, electricians, and plumbers. And basically my realtor, which is a, which is a great plug for a realtor that, that knows what they're doing and has done it before, took a piece of graph paper, drew up like what I should do, drew up where the bathroom would go and the dimensions and where different electrical and plumbing needed to go and happen. Took me to the regional building department, sat with me with the planners and as they like annotated it and said what needed to change. But like his drawing was great from the beginning. And so we used that got bids from handyman electricians and plumbers and I managed all of it. I was the GC myself. And so um, we had to get it permitted at different steps along the way. My handyman was good enough that he had experience. He was able to walk me through that. So I um, would probably recommend having somebody that's got experience to help walk you through that. But anyways, we poked out these two windows. That door is actually used to be a door, but it's framed in from the other side now. And it was the back half of the laundry room. So if you saw that laundry room, it actually went twice as far back. And now that half of it is now the full bathroom. So he's crammed a full bathroom into there, framed in this door, poked out two windows, poked out that door that you already saw. We had to insulate all around it, frame it, drywall it. We had to chisel out concrete to bring the drain from the sink over and under and connect to the drain in the crawl space over here. We had to go through the foundation wall and chisel out through the slab of the garage and connect to the drain. That's the most expensive thing to think about is where's my drain and where's my water? Luckily water was right there on the other side in the laundry room. Drain, we had to chisel, connect, re-pour. That was a little more expensive, um, but not too much for a handyman to rent a jack and <laughs> cut through it. Yeah, the sewer, so the line came from the laundry room, went under the house and connected with everything and then t takes it out to the front. So we were able to connect with some some line under the house in the crawl space. So it was 16K to fully do it and furnish it. And it's made 1,700 a month for average per month for how long have I owned this house? Three months or three years? Yeah, three months, 200% already. <laughs> three years so yeah 250 percent i think about is my roi if i just do, do the investment uh to convert it and how much it's made on airbnb since so that's my houses got a couple house hacks um if you are interested in short-term rentals house hacking in colorado springs um room by the rent whatever room by the rent cut yeah so that's the house four bed two and a half bath with a separate unit, cash flowing like crazy. Um, I have seen the value of house hacking and I love it. So I'm a realtor here in Colorado Springs. If you're interested in anything like this, converting garages, short-term rentals, house hacking, uh, would love to help. Hit me up, number 719-290-4640. Emails ryan at househackcoloradosprings.com.